on the boat this morning and first job of the day is to just do hopefully the final knockdown on these A pillars that we've fed. I think we're on the probably the fourth or fifth layer now. Just a couple of low spots that we'd filled last time and they've set up nicely now so let's get this knocked down. is now complete so that is looking really nice just sanded this with 120 and then 180 grit sandpaper we've got a really nice contour on the back here nice lines around the bottom here and across here and then we've got a chip that we've got on the front here has been filled as well yep so really happy with that so that is now ready for priming and the port side is also ready we have ordered the paint, but uh, with the supply chain problems at the moment, it's gonna take a few weeks to arrive with us. So uh, we're gonna need to wait for that to arrive before we can get this painted. Okay, so while I've been up on the boat, just fairing the A-pillar, Richard has been working on this transom door where we've got the uh, crack and split on the hinges. So he's laid in some fiberglass over the weekend with some resin and some uh, plywood, marine plywood reinforcement behind that. And then he's just come in and he's sanded it again and just put a couple more layers on because it was just a little bit low. So I've left that out in the sun to dry. And then unfortunately, we had a little mishap this morning. Um, I uh, rather clumsily knocked this off the bench and it hit on the corner and smashed the gel coat off. So he's also laid some uh, chop strand mat on the corner here. So we'll have to sand that and gel that as well. I think we're probably gonna end up gelling maybe this whole side and then maybe down to sort of this edge here and then we should be able to blend it so that you can't see that that's been repaired and then we're also now working on our anchor chain locker cover so this had teak on it which i removed over the weekend and rich is just removing now the sort of residue the adhesive residue but this is pretty ding to be honest with you we've got some cracks and splits all over it hole here so this is going to need quite a lot of TLC and inside we've just got bare fiberglass so this should have had a molding inside which would have strengthened this this is really flimsy it's basically made of, it's like tissue paper to be honest with you so we'll um, we're gonna to have to make a mold and we'll put a new piece in here that'll be all bonded into place and that will give it the strength that we need <laughs> change of plan we've cleaned this up and we've had a good look at it and we just think actually the amount of time it will take to repair all of this damage it would actually be quicker and easier and a better end product if we just remold it completely because it's just full of dings and scratches and spider cracks in the gel coat it's literally covered in them it's had a it's had a bit of a rough life this <laughs> this chain locker cover so yeah i mean probably take us what an hour two hours to make a mold for that yeah. don't need the non-skid on it anyway because we're going to put uh, synthetic teak on here so we don't need to worry about the non-skid so for us to knock up uh, a mold out of some white faced mdf um yeah probably a couple of hours versus days <laughs> probably trying to make this right and it will never really be that great to be honest with you so that's the plan so we're going to leave that for now i'm going to pick up some white faced mdf in the week and i'll make a a new mold for that we'll just basically build uh, the mold around it so we've got the exact shape and then we'll build an internal mold for it as well so back onto this transom door. So this is now set up, it's been out in the sun for a couple of hours and we think this is probably now set up enough to give this a quick sand.
So we've rubbed down these two patches with 100 grit sandpaper and also this corner repair as well and then also flattered all of this surface here across the bottom here and also on the underside as well with 400 grit sandpaper just so that we can blend the gel coat out. Rich is just mixing up some fairing compound now, the Crastifix Polyfair and we'll get that onto these repairs. While we wait for the polyfair to set up, I've come back inside the boat and we've polished all of these surfaces now and they're all looking really nice and clean. And obviously we want to protect these corners now, we don't want any more damage. So what I've got is just some cardboard corner protection that we're just going to tape into place. So we've got our protection sheet down, so we've just basically any exposed corners which were likely to knock, which is that one there, and then these two on the end of the helm seat, these are probably the ones that were most likely to strike with something as we're working on the boat, so we've just got all those covered up, just a bit of something here on the barbecue as well, just again just to protect that area if we want to put any tools down or anything, that'll protect that, and again we can stand on here as well now. And rest things on there and know that we're not going to damage the gel coat actually the gel coat underneath is in pretty good condition although it was really dirty uh, the condition of it is pretty good so uh, definitely worthwhile covering that up hey everybody back on the boat this morning so we're just working on this transom door again last time we repaired the damages to the uh, hinge positions and also the corner where unfortunately I uh, knocked this over so that's all been fared and sanded and then over the weekend Richard applied some gel coat which he just brushed on and then he's put this acetate sheet over the top and that's just to help the gel coat go off and hopefully give us a better finish which will require less sanding so let's get this acetate sheet off So Richard's still working on this transom door 
he's flattered or sanded this front edge and the bottom edge he's just working on this side edge now but we've got some uh, what will be air bubbles in here so we've got to try and sand those out so uh, and it's really hard this gel coat so it's taking quite a lot of work and unfortunately our sand has broken down so we're having to do that by hand but uh, we'll keep persevering with that and then while Rich has been doing that I've just been working on this anchor locker cover mold so basically what I've done is just use the original cover that we've got dropped it into here this is just uh, melamine I've cut it to 30 mil high and then I've also put a four degree tilt on this as well which will allow the uh, part to release from the mold which is the same as the original and then what I've done actually is put some acetate on the corners here and what we're hoping to do is drop this into the mold and then use some polyester filler in the corners to try and form these corners I'm not sure if it's going to work but we're going to give it a go and then what we've also done is just drilled some holes in the corner here just to allow that filler to key in so that it just doesn't just drop out so we'll mix up some filler or fairing compound and drop that into the corners and see if that works or not. on the boat again this morning so we're back on this transom door um, last week we had used acetate over some gel coat pulled off the acetate and blocked it all back however unfortunately that was a bit of a fail as we've got some air bubbles trapped inside the gel coat we've got most of those out now so basically I've had to flat it back in fact you see there's just the remnants of one here but that'll fill the gel coat no problem but yeah so that was a bit of a fail really the face turned out pretty good we managed to get this all blended in and polish so that looked pretty good but corner here we're not happy with and we need to redo this face so we'll mix up some gel coat I think this time we're going to just brush it on so we'll get this stood up so we're just laying on a horizontal surface and then we'll put some gel coat on probably a couple of layers and we'll have a go again at that and then also still working on this mold so Richard over the weekend has molded these corners and he's just flattening those back now but they look pretty good so he's done two this one actually has turned out really nice got a really nice finish on that one so just got a couple more of those to do and then hopefully we'll be ready to mold with this For the first coat of gel coat set up which is working on the top part of the molding and I'm actually going to work on the bottom or the underside of the molding so I've just taken the two halves of the original anchor locker cover drawn that onto this MDF board and then what I'll do is I'm going to come 50 millimeters in or two inches and I'm going to cut that out and that will create a mold for the underside this MDF and routed the edge here as well all the way around and then also just sanded it uh, on the inside and again on this top edge got it to a nice smooth finish so what we're going to do now is just spray some primer on this and then give that 
another flat off. So I've cut a piece of MDF and then I've primed both ends, hand sanded it first just to give it sort of a softer profile and then coated that with four or five coats of primer and just once over with some 2000 wet and dry. So what I'll do is I'll cut that in half and that will actually form a little recess for the hinge nuts to go in. So. Uh, That'll all become apparent when I do that, but yeah, cut that in half and then there'll be another one over here, which is my next job. Gel coat is just setting up on the transom door. So that all looks good there. And then Richard is just working on the lid top mold here. So we, what we're trying to do here is get these corners molded. So he's drilled lots of little holes here. That's just so that the filler has got something to grab onto. And then what we'll do is we'll fill this with uh, polyfair and we'll put the original part back on, clamp it on, and that will give us a nice radius on here. We've mounted our mould on a board and we've also put these raised parts in which are actually indents for the hinges so that we've just screwed those on so they're now in the right position. So all we need to do now is just put a little bit of plasticine around these corners and a little bit of plasticine down here as well just to make that radius there. Have a completed mold certainly the bottom side anyway so this is now all ready and rich has just put down a layer of wax so we'll need to put down another seven layers and then we can send this off to our grp specialist and they'll mold that part for us and the top half we just need to wait for the filler to set up overnight it's i mean it's set up and it's nice and hard but it's still quite crumbly so we'll leave that overnight and then we'll be able to lift this out 
Again, just a light sand and some wax and we'll be able to take that over to our GRP specialist. Anyway, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give us a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one.